very good morning and a warm welcome to your children to catechism class i hope you all are keeping fine and enjoying with your life so before we proceed our class let us pray to god the father to be with us during this time of our class i invite all of you to join your hands close your eyes and pray to god the father Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. world without end amen so my dear children today we are here to study lesson 4 destruction the effect of sin lesson 4 destruction the effect of sin how do the destruction leads us to commit sin and sin keeps us away from god Destruction can come at any time in our life that leads to commit sin against God. Through our different thoughts, through our talks, we commit sin. We can see in the life of Adam and Eve. Dear children, who are our first parents? Can you tell me? Yes, Adam and Eve is our first parents. They were the beloved of God. Both of them were very happy living. Seeing this goodness, Satan distracted them. Satan told to Eve to eat the fruit of the garden. Did she eat the fruit of the garden? Yes. she ate the fruit of the garden and gave to adam also therefore they committed sin against god so god punished our first parents he told to adam you must work hard to get your living and get your food with hard work god told to adam as a result of your sin the earth will produce both good and bad yes dear children in our life too we work hard but there are times we have both experience success and failures do we work hard but there will be no success but we have to continue to do hard work and god told to you you will give birth to your children with great pain dear children we know the life of adam and eve and they had how many children can anyone say Yes, they had two children. Who are they? Cain and Abel. Both of them were doing different work. They offered a offering to God. And whom God pleased more? Can tell me. Can you tell me? Yes, God was pleased. with abel's offering so cain could not be to abel so cain murdered his brother abel therefore god punished cain who murdered his brother abel and cain became cuz on earth he did not get any produce fruit from 
his labor therefore he has to wander place to place as days and time passed population increased through their sons through them and wickedness of people also increased they started to commit sin against god but among them one good man was there can you tell who is that man yes noah god told to noah you make an ark i am going to destroy the whole world with flood we can read in the book of genesis chapter 6 verses 13 onwards according to god instructions noah made an ark and noah and his family entered the ark along with all living creatures male and female entered the ark thereafter flood began it rained continuously for 40 days and night and all the living creatures and mountain were under water all the living creatures on earth were died only who were saved yes only noah and his family were saved here we see the love of god god is rich in mercy he loves all he loves you and me only we need to experience his love god saved noah and his family and established a covenant with noah as a rainbow in the cloud in this way god punished the generation and saved noah and his family as days passed through noah's son population increased and they started to flourish they also started to commit sin and they were considering themselves to be great and they wanted to praise themselves therefore they decided to build a tower and did god like their ideas no god did not like their ideas so god put them in strange language so dear children they were not able to communicate one another they were not able to understand what other person is communicating therefore they failed to communicate and failed to construct a tower so my dear children this is the life of the people who failed to acknowledge god's love and they sinned against god let us pray to god that may the good lord bless us and be with us that destruction may not be lead us to commit sin and we all may become good to god god our creator help us not to commit sin thank you